Hey guys, Simply Betty here. Today I'm doing something kind of special. I'm doing an unboxing. Why is this so special? Because I haven't done a fish unboxing in a really long time. For like the past year or so, I've been moving fish out. I've been selling fish. I've been bringing fish to the pet store. I've been minimizing my betta breeding projects. I've been canceling projects. I've just been getting ready to do this big move that we had planned. So my fish room, which was once so full of projects and betta fish, is now sitting empty. My steel tank rack that I have used to be full of spawns and projects and now it's, it's like mostly empty. I only have a few tanks and a couple little spawns growing out and it feels a little bit lonely. I'm fish lonely. I need more fish. I need more fish surrounding me. I miss them. They're my only company. Just kidding. <laughs> so I'm so happy to announce that I'm doing an unboxing today and I'm really excited. So what happened was a company called Splashy Fish contacted me asking if I'd be interested in talking about this one big thing they have coming up soon, which I'm really excited for. I said, yes, of course I'll make a video about it because I love this thing that you're gonna have available soon. And I'm really excited for that to happen. It's gonna be coming up in a little bit. Not right now, but in a little bit. But then I was looking on their website and they had the cutest fish and I saw one that I just had to have. So I asked if I could have it. And they said, yes, of course. So that's what I'm opening today. <sighs> it's been too long since I've had beautiful fish come into my home. So it is still a little bit chilly, like in my area. There's snow outside, nights are still really cold, but they do next day UPS shipping, which I felt really good about, and they use the, some nice clamshell insulation, which is like the best that you can use, the best kind of foam. Okay, so I'm not that worried about it, but I can't help but always get a little bit nervous when I have live fish coming to me being shipped. <sighs> okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, everything's gonna be fine. Calm down, calm down. There I go. Ah. Ooh, the heat pack is still warm. See, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, that's not a bag, that was just a... <laughs> Okay, I thought I was pulling out a bag and I was really confused why there's nothing in it and it's just packing. It's just, it's just packing. I feel stupid. I feel stupid. Okay, here's the first real bag. I got some mystery snails. I haven't had mystery snails in a while. I had just a terrible mass die off of mystery snails. This was a long time ago now and I lost pretty much all of my babies and I was really upset about it and I just never got mystery snails again, which is a shame because I love snails. Have you seen some of my latest videos where I'm like making food for my snails and I'm loving my snails? I used to hate snails, but I've really grown to love them. So in here, I have ivory and blue mystery snails. So that's nice. I'm gonna give them another try. Onto fish. Okay, okay, here's my fishies. They're my fishies. Oh, oh my goodness, what a beautiful female. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Hello, hello beautiful female. I let Splashy Fish surprise me with just a really pretty female because I, I wanted one and they did and she's pretty. She looks, I mean, she's a little bit pale because she's stressed from shipping, that's understandable. But she looks to be a very pretty fancy female with yellow and black and does she have galaxy trait? Maybe, we'll get a better look at her later um, when she acclimates and calms down a bit. <sighs> Next. Oh, hello. Here's another pretty fancy female. Again, I asked Splashy Fish to just kind of surprise me with some females. So I can't wait to get a better look at her too once she acclimates. It looks like she has a red head, which I like. And the reason for that is 
the male that I really, really wanted from Splashy Fish had a red head. He's yellow with the most beautiful red head and here he is. And before I get tons of comments about it, sometimes when you ship betta fish or receive betta fish via shipping, their bags will be a yellow color. Generally, it's because of like an Indian almond leaf extract or tannins being added to the water. And look at this pretty fish. He looks healthy, he looks good. I'm happy they got to me safe and sound. I knew they would. Usually people who ship betta fish in the mail know what they're doing. So I should just calm down. I should stop stressing out about fish shipments. You should see me when I actually have to ship fish out, when I do that myself from my store, which I haven't, I haven't had fish available for a long time. I'm a nervous wreck. They got to me safe and sound and well. I'm gonna get the mystery snails into a little tank and then the fish are going into just a temporary 10 gallon divided tank as like a, just a quarantine measure. Getting a new fish and quarantining it in case it comes in with any kind of sickness or in case maybe it, it got sick from being shipped, like you don't know. It's best to keep them separate from the rest of your tanks just for a while. It's just good practice. So I'm gonna go get them into a temporary divided tank and then we'll get a closer look at them. These fish are gonna be going into this fish tank that I have set up here in a bathroom of my house and I'll keep them here for a few weeks just to make 100% sure that they're healthy. This is a 10 gallon tank and I'll show you how I'm gonna get it ready to hold these fish. Obviously, they're not all going into the same fish tank together. That's a recipe for disaster. I'm gonna be dividing the 10 gallon tank into three different compartments and they're just gonna be fine and dandy. So just for a moment, I wanna talk about one of my favorite dividers that I've used. These are handmade dividers from Life With Pets. Life With Pets is another YouTube channel who I've been following ever since before I started my own channel. And I really like these dividers that they make. They're nice and thick, they're solid. They're not just gonna bend and break on you. They come both in solid dividers and dividers that have holes for flow. I just use the ones with the holes. Sometimes bettas can see each other through the holes and they'll, they'll flare a little bit, but it's not really that much. I'm not too worried about it. All you do is you slide in the divider kind of into the place that you want it. You adjust these little side thingies to make sure they, they, they're pressing somewhat firmly up against the top. You have to fiddle with it just a little bit to get the fit perfect. Okay, once you have it fitting pretty nicely into the space and it's kind of standing on its own, you put in these little clips that attach it to the rim. They don't attach it, they just kind of squeeze the divider and they don't let it move. Like that. So I'm gonna do it for this one too because I want three compartments. Cool, and then you can kind of push it around and make sure that you like the spacing. I'm liking how this is looking. Three nice even spaces. Now these dividers are also meant to be used with substrate. That way there's something just at the bottom making sure that nothing's gonna be moving around or tipping over. Because of that, I have some clean spare substrate here in this bucket. It's like a really fine gravel that's actually kind of pretty. And some dragonstone, some leftover pretty dragonstone that I'm just gonna be using. Now I'll fill it up with water, but the bad news is I would love to fill up my tank with my python hose, how I fill up my tanks, but there's a little attachment on this bathroom fixture that I can't screw off because it's like calcified on. I've tried in my hands, I've tried pliers, and I already give up. So I'm just gonna fill it with this cup. That took way too long. Note to self, fix the faucet. Fix the Okay, I've got my dividers, I have my substrate, I have a light, I have the water in it. Now what's next? To dechlorinate the water. I use a lot of dechlorinator, as you can imagine, with all my water changes, so I have like a big old jug that I use. So what I do is I pour some into the cap and then I measure it out using one of my little pipettes. I'll just put a little into each. Now I'll add in the sponge filter. This is a used sponge filter from a healthy tank of mine. Actually, only half of it is. I took half of a sponge filter out, popped it on here. This is a uh, unused half and I'm gonna set it up right now with a little air pump. With my air pumps, I like to put a little control valve in the line. That way I can control the flow of the air. This is all looking great, except I have a problem. I just put a perfectly good sponge filter filled with all the bacteria I need into a tank that doesn't have any food for the bacteria. 
all the different strains of bacteria that are on that used healthy sponge filter, they need stuff to survive. They need waste, they need ammonia, they need nitrites. They, they just, they don't have anything in this brand new clean water. So my bacteria, I don't think is gonna do very good because there's literally no food to feed it and I need that cycled filter for a cycle to tank. I'm actually gonna use a bacteria food. This is Fast Start from Brightwell Aquatics. This is what I use to clean start my tanks. Um, this isn't what I call a clean start because I'm using a, a filter from an established tank, but I still have to feed it. So I dose the tank with this stuff. It actually smells pretty good. And so now the bacteria has something to eat in there and I'll probably do this like for the first week or so. So my water's a pretty good temperature, but I forgot to get a heater. I'm gonna go get a heater to put in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my beautiful fishies and float them and get them acclimating to the temperature. All right, they're acclimating to temperature. I'm gonna go grab a heater and put that in here. And I'm just gonna give them like, you know, 15 minutes and I'll be back soon. All my heaters are in use at the moment. So I have a little spare one right here and it should do just perfectly. You wanna put heaters next to the filter so there's some water flow running over it. They've been acclimating to temperature for a while now, so let's put them in the tank. I will start with this beautiful male with the red head. I can't wait to show him off a little better when he's not in this bag. I cut a, a corner off and I hold it and I pour the old water out. Just pouring it into the sink right here and plop. My baby's making noise back there. Here's the female, a female who also has kind of a red head. Make a great little girlfriend for him. I'll do the same thing. I just cut off the corner, hold it, pour the water out so the fish doesn't pour out of the drain. I've done that before on accident. I may have accidentally put a fish right down the drain like this because I wasn't paying attention. But luckily I have traps down below that are really easy to unscrew and rescue anything that gets stuck. Oops. Then here's that other beautiful female. Look, she's so pretty. I gave the baby a bottle of shampoo to play with just so I could do this in peace. That might've been a bad idea. I can't tell yet. Opening her up. Plop. There they are. It's looking pretty good. There's a lot of air bubbles because this is all fresh water. Uh, well, I've already done like this much. I mean, I might as well add like some wood in there. I have a, a few spare pieces of Mopani driftwood, uh, which is a nice driftwood that sinks. I'll go get those. Look what I found in my piles downstairs. Let's see, I'll put this piece in here with cute male. Pretty female is gonna get that cool stick. This female, she has a bunch of stuff in there. She's just gonna get a little piece right there. Why not? I trimmed one of my tanks yesterday and I have a bunch of extra plants sitting downstairs that I was just gonna put on my website, but I might as well just stick them in this tank and make it look cute. I went downstairs, I gathered some plants. These fish are getting plants. I love plants. I love aquatic plants. I'll start by adding some guppy grass. Guppy grass is a floating plant or it can be like a floating plant, but you can stick it down into the substrate and have like a bushy, low maintenance kind of background plant. And I think it looks nice. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I also have a couple handfuls of pearl weed, which is another pretty low maintenance stem plant that I've been enjoying. And then I'll add a bunch of frog bit on top. So it'll put my website stock behind, but you know what? These fishies need some plants. added a bunch of plants now to perfectly clean water, except for a little bit of stuff for bacteria food. There's nothing in there for the plants to consume. So I'm gonna add a fertilizer. I use Florin Multi, that's also from Brightwell Aquatics, cause they're my sponsor. Because I use big old jugs of this stuff, I'm gonna dose using my pipette. There we go. I need to find an easier way to dose things from my big old jugs. I think I'm finally done. So. Something kind of interesting happened here. I meant to go in and make a very basic quarantine tank for these fish, and I accidentally made kind of a cute tank. It was an accident. This was supposed to be a quarantine tank, and I have to go make it cute. Ah, I can't do anything right. 
I'm gonna let these cute fish just chill out for a while and get adjusted to their new home. And then I'll take some cool B-roll footage of them. And then I'll try to take some nice pictures of them. Whoa, someone's feisty. these fish? Are they adorable or what? I'm gonna need help thinking of some names. I don't usually name my fish, but I think I might need some help thinking of a name for the guy with the cute little red head. Ah, uh, cause he's adorable and I think he's, I think he's gonna need a name. So put your ideas down below in the comments. Special thanks to Splashy Fish for sending these guys to me. I'm very happy with them. Now Splashy Fish is gonna have something special coming up like maybe in a month or so. I'll be doing another unboxing and talking about this thing. You could probably guess what it is if you know me, but maybe not. Maybe I'm less predictable than I think. And then maybe for that fish, I will accidentally make them a nice little tank too. Thanks so much for watching. In the description down below, I'm, I'm gonna have links to where you can get the dividers, links to splashy fish, where the fish came from because they have a very cute selection. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.